There are my feet again. Gotta show my feet. Well, it's 6 o'clock or about it is 6 o'clock in the morning. No, it's 6.02 in the morning. So I'm here at home, of course, not at work. And I figured I'd do you a video talking about the rules for translating the authorized version. That is the King James Bible 1611. And this is what they had for the rules um, back when uh, they were translating, of course. And um, I'm going to read to you what it says. It says, Rules for Translating the Authorized Version. For the following rules are the following are the rules set down for the translators to follow in doing their work. The ordinary Bible read in the church commonly called the Cabicious Bible to be followed and as little altered as the original will permit. The names of the prophets and the holy writers with other names in the text to be retained as near as may be accordingly as they are vulgarly used. Vulgarly used. The old ecclesiastical uh, words to be kept as a word church not to be translated congregation. When any word has diverse significations, that to be kept, I'm probably reading crazy because I'm a little sleepy, that to be kept, which hath been most common used by the most eminent fathers, being agreeable to the propriety of the place in the analogy of faith. The division of the chapters to be altered either not at all, or as little as may be, if necessary, so require. No marginal notes at all to be affixed, but only for the explanation of the Hebrew or Greek words, which cannot, without some circumlocution, so briefly and fitly be expressed in the text. Some quotations of places to be marginally set down, as shall serve for the fit references of one scripture to another basically chain referencing every particular man of each company to make the same chapter or chapters and having translated or amended them severally by himself where he thinks good all to meet together to confirm what they have done and agree for their part what shall stand Let's see here as any one company hath dispatched any one book in this manner, they shall send it to the rest to be considered of seriously and judiciously, for his majesty is very careful in this point. King James. If any company, upon the review of this book so sent, shall doubt, doubt or defer, differ upon any places to, to send them, word thereof to note the places and therewithal to send their reasons to which if they consent not the difference to be compounded at the general meeting which is to be of the chief persons of each company at the end of the work when any place of special obscurity is doubted of letters to be directed by the authority by authority to send to any learned in the land for his judgment in such a place Page here. letters to be sent from every bishop to the rest of his clergy admonishing them of this translation in hand and to move and charge as many as being skillful in the tongues and have taken pains in that kind to send their particular observations to the company either at Westminster Cambridge or Oxford, according as it was. My eyes are getting out of focus. As it was directed before the king's letter into the archbishop. King's letter. Why you put your glass down, Butch? Okay, the directors in each company to be the deans of Westminster and Chester for Westminster, and the king's professors in Hebrew and Greek in the two universities. These translations to be used when they agree better with the text than the Bishop's Bible, viz. Tyndall's, Coverdale's, 
Matthews, White Churches, Geneva. White Churches, Geneva. Okay, I thought this is White Churches, Geneva. <laughs> okay. Besides the said directors before mentioned, three or four of the most ancient and great divines in either universities not employed in translating to be assigned by the vice chancellor upon conference with the rest of the heads to be overseers of the translation as well Hebrew as Greek for the better observation of the four rules above specified uh, now here we get reviewing the work when one company finishes work the finished product was reviewed within the committee that committee then it was sent to each and every other committee to be reviewed again and altered if necessary by the input of the entire body of translators. Then learned men from all over the empire who had not been included among the translators were sent letters inviting them to review the work also. In this manner no mind was ignored, no talent wasted, but the work was still not finished. After the completed translation was reviewed by any qualified man within the kingdom, it was reviewed by a final board of six of the original translators and then sent to the printer. Uh, the materials, after the translations were decided on, uh, decided on, the materials were used for the work itself were gathered. England had a wealth of such sources due to its newfound prominence. The King James translators had both Hebrew and Greek witnesses. For Greek, they had the text of Erasmus, Biza, and Stephanus. These they checked against versions of Latin, Syrian, Chaldean, Spanish, French, Dutch, and Italian. They even had access to, the Dewey, to a Dewey Rheims English translation for the sake of comparison. There had never been, nor has ever been, an undertaking of such magnitude as it was carried out with a precision that history testifies was perfect. The physical layout. Because it was valued as a history rather than scripture. What are we talking about? The Apocrypha was placed between the Testaments rather than scattered within the text in Roman Catholic tradition. Roman Catholic tradition. Um, and in in the introduction and in the in the chapters, it, it says the book called Apocrypha. Okay. Um, words added by the translators were put in italics, as had been done in translation before King James. The chapters and verses were divided in accordance with the system used in the latest Geneva Bible. This type used to his detriment today was gothic rather than an easier to read Roman. When it was finally completed copies were sent to the royal presses at Oxford and at Cambridge in 16, and in 1611 the world had the perfect words of God in English. Thus we see that the King James Bible had the highest caliber of men working on it with a wide field of text and versions and was checked and recheck for accuracy of translation. The work took seven years to complete and has never been surpassed. Amen to that. Now compare the qualifications of King James translators to those of the modern era. Of our modern era. Mm. I don't think they surpass. Okay. Now, here's the. Uh, what you call a cream de la cream. Here's what it says about uh, the rest of the pocket. Huh? I want to read it to you. Then I want to show you something pretty cool. Alright. Let's see how many minutes we got. Nine and a half minutes so far in. Okay, good. Done better than I did last time. The King James Apocrypha. The King James Apocrypha. If it's in the King James, yeah. Now, let, let's just, I want to do a re 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 review real quick. The 1881 revision of the King James did not take it out. I mean, I mean, it took it out from that period on down, 
but still really even today their Bible's being printed with Apocrypha still in it so really it just didn't do a whole lot for a long period of time and their Bibles before that they didn't have the Apocrypha in them most of the Bibles you see on the internet on eBay for sale don't have the Apocrypha or at least there are a lot of Bibles with the King James the King James versions that are being sold without the Apocrypha how about that you don't see them hey I, I, I haven't seen it yet I haven't seen it yet but if anybody wants to keep the Apocrypha in the King James why don't you put them in the New Age Version Bibles as well have them translated into the NIV have them translated to the ESV have them translated to the NLT let's have it all translated but you know what it will do the same thing that it did for the King James their uninspired scripture so I mean so therefore it would fit perfect in New Age Version Bibles that, because those are de-inspired and the Apocrypha put in the modern English language would be uninspired would even be more uninspired so put it all together makes sense okay the King James Apocrypha is talking about another one of the assaults on the <laughs> authorized version is that the early editions contained the Apocrypha between the Old and New Testaments but the King James Bible was not the first Bible to make this decidedly anti-Roman Catholic gesture anti-Roman Catholic gesture hmm. Miles Coverdale had done the very same thing way back in the second edition of his English translation of 1537 placing the Apocrypha between the Testaments was tantamount to screaming this isn't inspired I was screaming myself asleep in defense of the translators practice we shall list the seven reasons why the Apocrypha was not considered inspired by the authorized version translators the reason for not admitting the apocryphal books into the canon or list of inspired scriptures are brief, briefly as follows and it's got like a little sub thing here I'll read it to you as well a little, little um, side note here not one of them is in the Hebrew language which was alone used by the inspired historians and poets of the Old Testament okay not one of the writers lays any claim to inspiration these books were never acknowledged as sacred, script, sacred scriptures by the Jewish church and therefore never sanctioned by our Lord okay they were not allowed among the sacred books during the first four centuries of the Christian church they contain fabulous statements and statements which contradict not only the canonical scriptures but themselves but themselves as when in the two books of Maccabees Antiochus Epiphanes is made to die three different deaths in as many places it includes doctrines at variance with the Bible such as prayers for the dead and sinless perfection it teaches immoral practices such as lying, suicide, assassination, and magical incantation. For these and other reasons, the apocryphal books, which are all in Greek except one, which is extant only in Latin, are valuable only as ancient documents, illustrated for the manners, language, opinions, and history of the East. Let's get a note here. It says in First Maccabees six one through sixteen, Antiochus Epiphanes, which is Antiochus IV, is reported to die in bed in Persia due to a broken spirit because, caused by distress reports of military fatigues, failures rather. He is supposedly surrounded by friends. In Second Maccabees one fourteen through seventeen, he dies the second time. Again, he is in Persia, but this time he is in the temple of the goddess. Nania for his wedding. Enemies hid in the ceiling above reportedly hurl above reportedly hurl stones down on him, 
crushing him to death and then dismember his body. Then in 2 Maccabees 9, 129, poor Antiochus IV dies yet one more time. This time he is on the road to Jerusalem to do battle with Israel. Since he is picking on God's chosen people, God curses him with sickness and he falls from his chariot. This even this sense even dismemberment hadn't been able to stop him before. God has his skin rot off and worms eat his body. Apparently this time he gets a hint and is not heard from again. It is to be noted that in this last account Antiochus is reported to have repented and become a Jew and written a letter of peace to the Jews while he still had fingers left. Wow. <laughs> That's serious. <laughs> okay, let me read this last part here. He said, We see then that the King James translators did not accept the books of the Apocrypha as having been inspired by God and would not accord them a place within the text of Scripture. It is also to be noted that this same Apocrypha is found in separate books distributed within the text of the Old Testament um, in the Vaticanus, the Sinaiticus, and other Egyptian manuscripts that modern translators favor. So there we go. That's out of the way. All right. I want to show you something here. Whoops. Whoopsie. Exit. Now, some of you know I like old Bibles and stuff. I got this on Sunday evening, I think it was. Saturday or Sunday evening. I ordered it from uh, Smyrna, Texas. I mean, um, Tennessee, Texas. It's a... Um, uh, uh, American Bible Society Bible, and um, you know, also I want to say this real quick. There are other things that the Bible, some Bibles, I got a list of that, and then the book how they were translated, where they translated from. I think that one has it too, and I want to read that to you. And I might do that here before I go to bed, or on another video. But anyway, this is a nice little Bible. You know, it's got. All the way you know, through the King, I mean, it's King James, of course. Um, it's 164 years old. This Bible is old, and it's like a 5 by 3 type of Bible. I was hoping it was going to be a little bit bigger, but it's not. It's pretty awesome. Uh, it's pretty thick, too. I like how the spines kind of roll, though. Check out that headband. The headband's pretty old, you know. It's leather, of course. But anyway, uh, as far as that, um, the, you know, how the Bibles were translated. Did you know the English Bible is responsible, the King James Bible is responsible for um, being translated into 760 languages? 760 languages. Can the NIV say that? Can the NLT say that? Can the ESV say that? No. It's responsible for 760 languages. Look it up. King James Bible, 760 languages. It'll tell you. Look it up. Look it up for yourself. Yes, sir. I'll probably do it. Enough. I'll probably do a video on it before I go to bed. Or if not, I'll do one on it later. But, um,. It's Wednesday right now, so tomorrow we are going to Virginia. Jenny Land. And uh, probably about 12, 11 or 12 or something like that. So later on this morning, I had to get up, wash the rest of my dishes, and shave and stuff, and cut my hair, or whatever. I don't know, I might wait and do that tomorrow morning. But uh, anyway. Pray for us. Get on the good, tr you know, to be on a good, well, you know, safe trip. I sure would appreciate it. But uh, like I said, I might go ahead and make that video about um, the, you know, where the Bible, you know, the Bibles that produce the King James Bible that produce produce other Bibles. I might go ahead and name those later on. Okay. Well, thanks. God bless. Talk to you later. I go ahead. Twenty minutes.